Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. Um, I'm at Sassy Mingo. Um, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Facebook, YouTube now. Um, we are, I'm here today with America's Thrift Supply handbag mystery box. This box was $49.99. Um, if you go to their website, they are they have mystery boxes and they have all different kinds. Um, handbags is one that I like to get. Um, my previous video I did was on the mystery jewelry bag. The jewelry bags I've only done maybe once or twice before in there, but I still like getting them because I love jewelry. Um, and then the handbag, I think this will be my second handbag. They're, they're usually out of stock, but every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's my time, they are uploaded. They're, um, they're added back in stock. And usually they go within minutes. They don't last very long. But last week I was able to get a jewelry and a handbag. So we are here today. They sent it in the same box. So I had to open the box to get the jewelry out from my previous video. So the box is already open. Um, let's see, I can't remember. This came from Birmingham, Alabama. I'm not that familiar with America's Thrift Supply. So I don't know if they have different warehouses and locations. But anyway, this one came from Birmingham, Alabama. This is our first peak. It looks like we have a red or maybe coral leather bag. I'm not sure. Um, I just want to tell you a couple things before I forget. Um, if you're new here, thank you. Thanks for watching. Please, um, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment of what you like and what you don't like. I usually do, I do a variety of videos. I do unboxings like rescue boxes from ThreadUp, America's Thrift Supply, Goodwill Blue Box. I, I buy those every now and then. Um, I like to do thrifting videos. I like to take items that I've thrifted and style them in my home. I like to take you, oh, I already said that. I like to take you along thrifting with me and what else? I guess that's it. It's just, it's just the things that I love to do. So let's get into this box. I don't like to have very long. I just knocked the camera. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> uh, and I am not, I'm not organized. I am not, um, I'm not professional here. I use my iPhone to record this. So here you have it. If you're, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. Thanks. But anyway, let's get into the purses. So, our first bag is this red and tan. Seems to be, I gotta move this box a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna put this box down here and there. So, what do we have? Oh, this is a hobo. All right, America's Thrift Supply. Let's check the zipper. So, here we have a red hobo. Um, leather it's it's kind of a pinkish red if i had to describe it it's not a red red it's not a orangey red it's a pink red and then we have the tan straps this of course is a shoulder bag oh okay so i am seeing a little bit of wear right here on the strap so that's a womp womp but overall the bag seems to be in really good condition. Um, you have your leather tassel here and tassel here. You know, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. But anyway, you'll get a really good deal on this bag. The inside is a floral pattern. It looks very clean. There's your hobo um, logo. It has a zip pocket that zips. We have two slide-in pockets on both sides. You have a tag in here that has 100% genuine leather. Um, so pretty much, oh, we have a, we have, oh, we have something in the pocket. 38B, somebody's tickets to something. Oh no, that's a bra ticket. Somebody's <laughs> bra size. <laughs> Oh my God, this is Bally, ballyintimates.com. There you have it. I got a free gift. Thanks. 
So anyway, you have a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back. If anyone's interested, um, I do sell directly to my subscribers. Let me know. Um, you know, it's hobo, so it's got that buttery soft leather, that worn in look. Um, and unfortunately the strap has a little bit of worn in look too. Um, but anyway, overall, not too bad. Um, you know, sometimes I wonder if these, if like, you know, these good name brand purses like that, like if I was to reach out to hobo and, um, but I know I don't have a receipt for purchasing it or anything. So I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Ooh, we have another bag and I'm not familiar with this bag. This bag seems to have a free gift inside too. Oh, it's just, is this bag brand new without the tags? It has the silica package. This is Elliot Luca. Are y'all familiar with Elliot Luca? This is a nice, this is another, I love, oh gosh, we got something in here, y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, I love, Oh, y'all, y'all, this purse, we have some, um, look, we have the shoulder strap, and then there was another one. I don't think, because this has silver hardware, this has gold hardware, this purse has gold hardware, so I we have the strap, and then I got an extra, I got another extra grit gift. Thank you. I better... I was scared of putting my hands in the pocket sometimes. So anyway, let's check this bag out. So we have a zipper closure, which works. A nice metal zipper. Works very well. We have this front pocket that is snap. We have the shoulder, we have the handles. And then we also have the crossbody strap. So what a nice bag. I, again, this buttery soft leather. I love it. I don't like a hard, stiff pocketbook. I like a floppy, a floppy pocketbook, if that makes sense. Um, you know, and again, that's that's just your preference. My preference is like hobo and and this. I've never heard of Elliot Luca, so please leave it in the comments if you have. Let's look this bag over. This is what the corners look like. On camera, it looks like wear, but I'm telling you in person, it may just be the glare. It really, it really doesn't show any signs of wear. The bottom looks amazing. Again, it's that worn in leather look. So we do have a back pocket for your phone or whatever. Um, the inside is a purple, <clears throat> purple, kind of snaky print, purple and pink and gray. You have your Elliot Luca tag here. You have a zipper pocket that, let's make sure the zipper works. That works. You have two slide-in pockets on this side. So let's see what this tag says. Genuine leather, Elliot Luca, and then there's an address. But anyway, very nice. And then the front, the front snap there the front snap pocket with the crossbody strap. I don't know anything about Elliot Luca, so I am gonna look at the handles. The handles look good. Again, it still had these in there, so I'm gonna put those back. And it has the crossbody strap that was never used. So nice, basic black bag. I would call this like a business work bag. This is the type of bag I would carry while I was working because you can throw a lot in it. I also like a bag, and again, it's all preference, that has just a big opening. I don't like divided sections. Even though I'm pretty organized, and I like my stuff organized, except when it comes to my purse. When things are in different, all them different compartments they have in purses, I never know where anything is. I just, I just like to go out and get what I need. <laughs> so anyway, here we have it, Elliot Luca. Very nice, black, buttery soft, gold hardware, bag. I'm liking that. Ooh, what do we have next? We have another. This box may be a theme. Oh, I didn't say, <clears throat> oh my goodness, I sold this bag. I sold one of these bags before. I didn't say in the beginning, but um, 
the um this bag is supposed to have four purses and like one accessory uh, <clears throat> so that's what we have and we'll see so this is our third purse this is a margot new york there's the name right there. I had never heard of this brand before, and I bought a um, I bought a huge buyout from an influencer from downtown Charleston, and in that lot was see this is one of those bags. I see, I get squirreled. In that lot was one of these bags. No, it was a smaller bag. It was a smaller bag, and it had like gold like nailed grommet things on the front. It was it was more like a crossbody, a small crossbody bag. And that thing sold, I looked up the comps and that thing sold for, um, I think it was $125. I paid 140 for the whole lot I bought from that girl. It was amazing. Anyway, this is a Margot New York. It is like, it's a brown, kind of like that Cognac, Cognac, Cognac brown. <laughs> It has that westerny, worn-in look. The bottom looks good. The corners look good. The strap is adjustable. The strap is almost like a belt, y'all. And the strap does come off, but I don't know if you would, why you would take it off. It's a slouchy, sloppy bag. Um, but let's try out the zippers. We got a zipper here, and we got a zipper here and we have a middle pocket. So I would maybe use this bag because you have your big middle pocket here with um, a zipper pocket. I oh, didn't get any free things in this bag. And then two slide ends, but then you also have these two side zipper pockets that open up to another big section. It's got some paper down there, I'm gonna have to vacuum it out, clean it out. And then another on this side, lots of, lots of pockets on this one. And then right here, we have a big pocket. And then right here, we have another pocket. So nice bag. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. So far we got three buttery soft, buttery, I love saying that, buttery soft, leather bags um you know and this one this one has looks like a little teeny pin mark there um it has definitely been pre-loved but it definitely has a lot more life left so if you are interested in her please leave me a comment <clears throat> my voice y'all i'm sorry leave me a comment below or i will include my email address in the description you can email me. My email is zandomom, Z-A-N-D-O, mom at gmail. Um, and I will be glad to offer up these any of these bags for a really good price, plus shipping. Um, I do pirate ship, so at the most, it's going to be like $8, you know, depending on where you live. Um, so there you have it. The strap, I wanted to show you all the strap. Look at this big old hunkin' strap. This is like a... Um, I'm telling you, it's like a belt, you know, and I, you can remove this. I guess it's removable. So you could add like, you know, those colorful, like guitar straps people are buying now to put on their pocketbooks. So anyway, here you have her. She is a beauty. I love this color brown in the fall and the winter. Love it. All right. Oh, here's our, here's our paperwork. I got to keep that for my records. Yes, the um, the brand name box was $49.99. I had to pay shipping. There was no tax. So I ordered the jewelry. The jewelry bag was $39.99 and the um, purse was $49.99. The purse box was $49.99. I ordered them at the same time, so they just put them in the same box. So there you have it. Put that over there in my pile of paperwork. All right. Looks like... Mm, looks like we actually got five bags and not a um not an accessory, which I'm not mad at that. Now this is I, I knew right as soon as I saw it. This is let me get her let me get her in shape. She's a little misshapen here. This is another bag that has too many 
too many zipper compartments. She was shoved in here, y'all. So she is very out of shape. Very much out of shape. Let me get this. I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm having a good day. It is Thursday here. It's kind of, it's cloudy and rainy. It hasn't really rained hard, but it's like drizzling, misty rain. So I didn't get to walk this morning. So I got to clean in house and I decided, you know what? I got, I still have those purses up there. I need to do, I need to record and open because I was dying to see what I had. Um, so here we go. This is our fourth bag. It is a pink and black I don't believe this is leather. This is a Betsy Johnson. You have your Betsy Johnson tag here. It still has that plastic coating on it. Now, to me, it just needs a good wipe down. This is the bottom. Those are the corners. Those are the corners. This is the front. We have gold hardware on the back. We have a zipper pocket. Inside is black and white striped has lots of detail to, you know, Betsy Johnson. She's all about the fun. We have some lips right there. So on the inside, this is what the top looks like. You have this snap. And then, well, also, I, I went ahead and did that so it would shape better. The sides snap. You can expand the bag to basically use like a tote. You know, what a great iPad, laptop, paperwork, business stuff bag. I would use bags like this when I was working because I had to travel from office to office and I never had everything that I needed. And anyway, you, you got to have, if you're working and you're traveling, you got to have one of bag like this. So anyway, opens up inside. It says love Betsy by Betsy Johnson. It's black and white stripe. You have a zipper pocket, zipper works. You have two slide in pockets over here. And here, yeah. Oh, that's a little one. That one's for pens. Pens. And then your little slide-in pocket here. Then this snaps back. This side opens. Black and white stripe. This side opens. Black and white stripe. Sorry, y'all. I a notification on my phone of something. Um, and also, it has a little hang tag that says... It says love Betsy or Betsy John. It says love Betsy and then it has the lips. Ta da! So if anyone is interested in this bag, again, it, it does not feel like leather at all. Let me look at the tag. It is polyurethane. So yeah, it is not leather. It is. But it's still a nice. It's just, it's so misshapen because they had it shoved down in the bottom of the box. But look how cute this is. This gives me a little bit of like maybe Chanel designer look on a very, on a very reasonable budget. Let me tell you that. So anyway, the straps, I didn't show you the straps. The straps look good. There is no, there is not a crossbody hook or strap that comes with this one. All right, we'll put her right there. And then our last item is, it's Lily Bloom. It does have cats on it. I have never done very well with these bags. I do not pick these bags up at the thrift store. Um, you know, they usually have some kind of owl pattern or I guess animal pattern or floral or botanical pattern. Um, in my early thrifting days, I did and they just sat this one might have a little bit going for it because it does have cats on it and there are so many cat lovers out there. See the little kitties? Again, it's a lily bloom. It feels, it feels like brand new. This is the bottom. There's that corner. There's that corner. We're upside down. This is, so on the back we have of course, everybody's wanting to blow me up as soon as I get on the video. This is like quilt, a little bit padded. So maybe this is like for an iPad to fit in there or a tablet. I always say iPad, but a tablet anytime it doesn't have any kind of, it doesn't have to be an iPad. And then on the front, you have 
this snap pocket. The inside is a fluorescent highlighter green. Um, and that snap works real good. There you have your Lily Bloom label. Then you have this zip pocket on the front. It's little, so I don't think a phone, a little phone. Now your phone definitely will fit in this one. This is my phone case. It goes right in there. I have the iPhone Pro 13 Max, so I have a pretty big phone. And then this opens to the main compartment, which is there. And you have a zipper pocket that works. Oh, I got the lining stuck there. And then, have we already looked at that pocket? No, then you have another pocket. So a pocket, a pocket. Then on the front, you have two pockets. Wow, there's a lot of pockets. So anyway, this is the strap. Um, it's adjustable. So this is definitely a crossbody bag. Um, lot, very long, lot, you know, lots of measurements, so. I know a lot of people are worried about crossbodies if they if they're real tall and they have you know a long torso. Um, this one seems to have plenty of length in the strap. Oh, let's look. There is the bottom looks like this, and there you go. So that is our five items from America's Thrift. So again, Lily Bloom, Betsy Johnson. Margot, Elliot Luca, and Hobo. So the only one that really had any kind of issue was this Hobo, and that makes me sad. But anyway, um, I will offer these up at a very great price if anybody is interested. Um, I will not, I will probably not post these on my, um, on, so, on social media on Poshmark or, or anywhere until, I usually, once I upload my video, I give it a couple days to see if anybody's interested. Um, so, there you go. Oh, I wanna show you all my earrings for today. If you follow me on, so, on Instagram, you know that I do earring of the day. If you don't follow me, you need to follow me. It's at sassy underscore mingo, all lowercase, I believe. Um, these are my earrings for today. They are thrifted. I love big, I love big, I love small, I love medium earrings, but my favorite is big, bold statement earrings. I put these on because I don't know if you can tell this shirt has a little bit of turquoise in the embroidery on the sleeve. So these are the earrings I'm wearing today. I do a, I do an earring of the day. I try to, um, connect a really cool song to, to the post, to the store. It's in stories. It's not in, um, you know, it's not like a post, but it's in stories, but I do save it on the highlights. I have a, a little tab where you can hit earring of the day and you can see all my earrings of the day for this year so far. Um, but again, these were thrifted. Y'all can find the neatest earrings thrifting or in these jewelry bags or what have you. But again, I will get off here. We're almost, we're at 23 minutes, which I did that one pretty quick. Um, I hope y'all have a great day. If you like this kind of content, if you can, if you can stand my voice, I know how that is. There's some people I just, I can't watch them because I just, you know, I can't stand their voice. Um, I try to get straight to the item or whatever my video is about. I don't like to ramble on and go off and come back and, and you know, 30 minutes in, then we're finally getting to the item. So anyway, that's that's me. That's that's just how I am. If you like that, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. 2024 is my year for expanding my small business, and YouTube is one of these the expansions. So I'm really trying to grow my subscriber, my subscriber count, my video count, and everything. So anyway. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching.